from losing his dad in his teenage years and being sent home from school for unpaid fees to being valued at a whopping $540 million. Toto Wolf's life is nothing short of remarkable. Want to know how he amassed his fortune and what impact the tragic loss of his dad had on his life? Then stick around for the rest of the video. Now, let's get into it. Toto Wolf was born on January 12, 1972. He comes from mixed ethnicities, since his mother is of Polish origin, while his father has an Austrian-Romanian origin. As a kid, he didn't actually see a lavish life. In fact, one could say that life wasn't kind to Toto at all. He was only eight years old when his father was diagnosed with brain cancer, which didn't only put him through emotional pain, but also affected him and his family financially. For his schooling, he went to Lycée Francaise de Vienna, a prestigious French school in Vienna. Remembering his old days, he said there were times when his mum didn't even have the money to pay our tuition fees at school. I remember when we were 14 years old. We were taken out of class because the school fees hadn't been paid, so we were sent home. How do you explain why you had to leave after lunch on the tram ride back home? It was quite a humbling experience, shared Wolf. And honestly, we believe that any child should never go through such a situation. But Wolf did, and he definitely learned a lot from that one incident. Following his father's diagnosis, his parents separated, and in his adolescence, Wolf lost his father forever. Till that time, he had no idea what was coming his way in the future, but as a kid, he had several things that he liked to do. At the age of 17, he started developing an interest in racing after he watched his friend compete in Germany's Nürburgring circuit. Since he knew what he wanted, he got into a racing school subsequently. This passion kept increasing day by day. He was so determined to become a racer that he sold his car and bought a Seat Ibiza to compete in the Seat Ibiza Cup. From then onwards, he started competing in back-to-back -back races. From Austrian to German Formula Ford Championships, he showed his great racing skills everywhere, which is how he started earning. Everything was going well when suddenly his sponsor backed out and his racing career took a backseat. However, this setback didn't hold the motivation Toto had. He still wanted to become a big person. That's when he developed his interest in the corporate world, or maybe he was simply thrown into it. At the time, he was admitted to the University of Vienna to study economics, but soon dropped out to work as an intern at an investment bank. He then worked for a steel company named Coleman Handler as a part of the sales management team. There, he decided to start his own investing company. And just like that, in 1988, Toto set new dreams by founding his first firm, March 15, along with his fellow Austrian, René Berger. It was his hard work and utmost devotion that over the next few years, the firm grew its office in Berlin, Zurich, Vienna, Tel Aviv, and Warsaw. The company became quite successful in getting some high-profile deals. Toto Wolf once again tested his luck and turned his head towards the racing world once again. He started racing in 2001 and won three six-hour races in Austria, the Czech Republic, and Italy. In 2002, he won the FIA GT Championship. And then, in 2006, he became the runner-up in the Austrian Rally Championship. In between experiencing the adventurous world of racing, Toto founded his second investment firm, March 16, in 2006. He started investing in Austrian public companies. Within the following year, he bought 49% of the German motor racing company HWA team. It produces Formula 3 engines, and with that, Toto became HWA's director and soon made it to the Frankfurt Stock Exchange in 2007. As Toto was at the best of his career, he once again got ditched by destiny. In 2009, Toto Wolf met with an accident at the Nürburgring circuit. This led him to quit his racing career forever. But in the same year, he was successful in a 16% stake in Williams' Formula 1 team. Afterwards, he joined the board of directors of the racing team and soon became its executive director in 2012. In one of his interviews, he said, A driving career that was very short but ignited my passion for the sport a private equity career that was completely detached from motor racing for 10 years, and then investments in various teams brought me back to the third career, which merged two fields of business and sport. Toto's hard work led him to win eight consecutive constructors' championships and seven drivers' titles. He acquired a 30% stake in Mercedes-Benz Grand Prix Limited. He also took over the motorsport of Mercedes-Benz. He was working both for Williams F1 and for Mercedes-Benz, However, in 2016, he decided to solely focus on Mercedes-Benz, so he sold his Williams F1 shares. Since his association with Mercedes-Benz, Toto has been thriving in his career. 
he took the company's Formula 1 to greater heights. Starting in 2014, Mercedes won 74 out of 100 races in five seasons. With 84 out of 100 pole positions, 147 out of 200 possible podium finishes, and 51 front row lockouts, the team has thrived under Wolf's leadership. Under Wolf's association with Mercedes, it's been successful in maintaining a percentage of 65%. You must want to know how Mercedes was thriving with success after Wolf's association with it. The key was something he learned the hard way, through the loss of his dad at only 15 years old. In an interview for Mercedes, Toto said, It is my responsibility to look after everybody in this organization and my family. That's maybe also because I had to take responsibility at a very early age for my sister and I. What it triggers in me is an instinct of this is my tribe, and I need to protect my tribe, no matter what. It triggers an emotional response in me. It's not even something that I'm doing on purpose. I can analyze rationally what I'm doing. But I don't know, it just comes out. This is the most important part. I won't let anybody hit out on anybody within the tribe. As a result, Toto Wolf introduced a no-blame culture in the company. No one in his company was allowed to blame anyone after the team failed to achieve its desired goal. According to him, there's no point in blaming each other. Rather, they should all solve the problem and take measures so that they can save themselves from any kind of future failure. This was Wolf's strategy to maintain a big name for Mercedes in the world. This way, he was able to maintain a healthy relationship with the team's most successful racer, Lewis Hamilton. Wolf provided Hamilton with some free time from the racing world so that he can perform well in the races. He's praised Hamilton in many of his interviews by saying that it is trust and understanding that played a key role in a healthy and successful partnership with Hamilton. Hamilton was also seen praising Toto Wolff in one of his interviews. He said, I couldn't think of a better friend. I couldn't think of a better boss. This healthy environment is the reason why Mercedes won every single race back in 2018. It equaled the Ferrari's set record by winning its fifth double world championship. Mercedes won F1, F2, F3, and F1 esports titles. 2018 was Wolf's year. He and his teammates made it the most successful year in the history of their motorsport career. Mercedes-Benz were also successful in winning many customer championships that year. What a year for Toto Wolff and Mercedes! For his hard work and success towards the team, he was recognized at the 2018 Autosport Awards. He was honored with a John Bolster Award by FIA President Jean Todd. Not just that, he also received the President's Award at the 2018 FIA Prize-Giving Gala in Russia. He shared his thoughts on what made him the man he is today. When I started at Mercedes in 2013, it was a project. It was clear I was signing a three-year contract. I am the team principal and 30% shareholder at the time, and I shall sell the shares back to Mercedes when the project is done. That was agreed. Hmm, he was quite open about his intention. But, well, things turned out to be different. The 51-year-old, who is now worth a whopping $540 million, continued, After three years, it was good fun. Everyone enjoyed the success, so we rolled it into another three years. But it was still a project. Then, in 2020, I concluded that this is what I like to do. I like the sporting side and I love the business side. No doubt, Wolf made his name in the world of racing and business and set an example for everyone that if you keep going with honesty, you'll cherish success. His story is a true example of how one's hard work could take one to the top of the world. From experiencing the tragedy of his father's death, to overcoming the grief and becoming a star, Toto Wolff is truly an inspiration for many.